Good evening, guys. Uh, this is a uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. I'm just flexing my, you know, <laughs> shoulders. Uh, it's a uh, misaligned. Uh, this one is higher than this one. I am a right-handed, so this one is not uh, so developed, you know. So I am trying to fix it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Okay. Uh, I will now bring out my lecture for tonight. It's a new discussion, okay? So for those who are interested uh, in integral calculus and um, are very serious in the study of the integral calculus, if you are taking up engineering, this is for you guys. Okay, uh, let's proceed. Uh, my lesson for this evening is uh, lesson number 89. It is on my channel on YouTube under the topic integral calculus and under the subtopic surface of revolution and for uh, tonight I will be deriving the formula on how to compute the lateral area around a prostome of a right circular cone prostome of a right circular cone it is a prostome okay and we are asked to derive the formula the lateral area going around the prostome, okay, as a function of uh, total surface area, as a function of the big radius at the bottom, small radius at the top, and the altitude edge. Because uh, for a prostome, operat circular cone, it got through, uh, it got three uh, specifications. The bigger radius R at the bottom, the small radius R at the top, and the altitude edge. So we will now derive the formula on how to compute for the total surface, the lateral surface going around. Okay, as a function of the big radius, small radius, and the altitude edge. The significance of this guys is that uh, if you are in the so-called manufacturing process, supposing you are to manufacture one million, uh, what you call this, uh, lampshade, in which the shape of the lampshade is uh, a prostome. Your boss might be asking you, how much will be the total surface area of the material needed to make one million lampshade? So actually, for you to satisfy your boss, okay, uh, bring up the solution. But uh, you should know first the formula. Okay, uh, let's proceed. The problem for tonight, uh, okay, uh, it's always a problem, okay, I'll, we, then we will try to solve the problem. Derive the integration, the surface area of the first term of a right circular cone. A uh, right circular cone, uh, it's a first term, okay? So, let's try to bring out the figure now on the Cartesian coordinate system. This will be the y-axis, x-axis. Uh, we drew the prostome to be symmetrical with respect to the y-axis and the bottom portion coincides with the x-axis. So this is the bigger radius r from this point here up to this. Bigger radius r. A smaller top radius, small letter r. And uh, the height is h. So the specs of the coordinates of this will be big R and zero. This one is, is small R and H. Negative R and H. This is negative R, negative big R and zero. Then uh, if we try to use the so-called horizontal slice, uh, we'll try to rotate a horizontal slice with respect to the y-axis. So actually, uh, we will take the total surface with respect to the y-axis, meaning it should be rotated with respect to the y-axis. Okay, so this is with the subscript y. It's a horizontal slice. Uh, this is uh, x, because uh, this point here on the edge of the cone is actually with coordinates x, y. Meaning, this is x and its altitude is actually y with respect to the y-axis ordinate is a y 
Okay? Uh, let's try to bring out two right triangles. The first right triangle that uh, we need in the so-called uh, derivation of the relation, uh, we get the first right triangle, this is the second right triangle. The first right triangle, the opposite side is uh, H, the adjacent side is big R minus small r. This is angle theta. This is angle theta also for the smaller right triangle. The opposite side is actually y, and the adjacent side is r minus x. Actually, we derive these two right triangles from this. The first right triangle is this one. Right? So this is h, and this one is r minus r. This link here should be big R minus small r. Okay? It is this. And the second one, it is this. The bottom portion. Uh, this point is uh, with coordinates x, y. Uh, this height here is y. Okay? And uh, the adjacent side will be big R, big R minus X, minus X. So this is big R minus X. Uh, we need uh, those two right triangles uh, to get the relation. Okay, let's proceed. To derive the relation now, we will take tangent of theta. Theta, theta, same angle. Tangent of theta using the big right triangle, it is S over big R, uh, the difference of big R minus small r equal to y over big R minus x. Okay? I will not show you the, uh, the simplification is this. After the simplification, if we try to compute for x, x is actually this one. x is actually big R minus quantity big R minus small r over x times y equation number 1. Okay? Uh, let's try to compute for dx. Uh, later on, we need dx in the computation of the leg of r. Okay, dx. dy over dx equal to 0 minus r minus r over x is constant. So when we take the differential, the only variable on the right-hand side is y. And the differential of y with respect to itself is uh, 1. So d, dx over dy is actually negative of in quantity r minus big uh, r, big r minus small r over x. Squaring both sides, okay, at least you follow it guys, this should be, uh, the square of negative 1 will become plus, and the square of r minus r is r, r minus r quantity square. Big r minus r, small r quantity square. The square of x is x square equation number 2. We derive x so we could compute for dx dy quantity square because we need it in the computation of the length of r. And length of r using one of the, uh, what you call this, uh, what you call this uh, classification, it should be the square root of 1 plus dx over dy quantity square times dy. If this is dy, the one at the bottom should be dy. That's why this is dy. Then if we try to substitute the computed value of the dx over dy quantity square, okay, I substitute it, after the simplification, what comes out will be ds equal to the square root of h square plus the, the difference of the bigger radius minus smaller radius quantity square all over h. Uh, this is h square, it's a perfect square, so if we take the square root, we bring it out, it will just be simply h. So the differential length of R for this, for this idea, the inclined portion, the slant height of the prostor, it will be this square root here over x, and to simplify, anyway, uh, x square plus the difference quantity square over x is a constant for any prostor, right? So for the meantime, I will just let this, uh, the one under the radical side to be s, okay? So, if we now try to compute for the total surface area, the differential of total surface area rotated with respect to the y-axis equal to 2 pi times radius times thickness. Okay, we are using uh, uh, form number one, 
I think or for number 2, it should be 2 pi. The radius is actually x. Times the uh, thickness. And the thickness is actually ds. It is this. So if we try to substitute, this should be 2 pi times x. But what is x? x is actually r minus uh, the quantity r minus r over x times y. It is this. That is x. Okay. Uh, this is with the y. Okay. Times the length of arc. As per our computation, length of arc is actually s dy over s. Uh, we represent this uh, d1 under the radical to be just simply s. Okay. So what will come out? Because s will be for any process, this will be constant. So, so we don't always write the one under the radical, we just place it that says. Okay? But we take note that the value of s is the square root of s square, the difference in the radius quantity squared, the square root. So if we try to simplify this one, this should become 2 pi s over s square. Why s square? Uh, we take the common denominator here. So h times h, that will now be h square. I bring it out. 2 pi, this is s, okay, times uh, this quantity here, r minus the difference r minus r over s, y, dy. Uh, this is actually, I will erase this one, differential s of y, okay. So this is actually a differential equation. So to take the total surface area, try to integrate both sides, the one in red. The integral of the total surface area, differential, okay, is equal to the integral 2 pi s over s square times this quantity here, y dy, okay. 2 pi s over s square is a constant, so we could bring it out, that will now be 2 pi s over s square, okay. R is constant, H is constant, the integral of R, a constant, and the dy, it will be just simply rh, the integral of dy. So it will be rh times y. So this is rh times y. And the second one, the difference r minus r is actually constant also. So constant in a function, and the function is a force under the power formula. So it will be the constant r minus r, y square over 2, with the limit from 0 to h. The limit is actually from 0 to h. To cover up the total lateral area, x should move from 0, x equal to, uh, y equal to 0, okay, to y, y equal to h. So the limit is actually from 0 to h. Substituting 2 pi s over s square, this should be, uh, we got it to here. So I take a common denominator, this will become 2 rh square minus rh square. I expand this one already after the substitution of h, plus a small r h square. Uh, similar terms, this will become 1 only, but we got a factor, a common factor h square, so I bring out uh, h square times the quantity big R plus a small r. And finally, the total surface area, lateral for a right a prostor of a right circular cone, it should be 2 pi s times the quantity r plus a small r. Okay, I, I will write it here, guys. You could Google this one if you want uh, to correct the correctness of the answer. The total surface area for a prostor is 2 pi times s, but what is s? s is actually the square root of h square plus r minus r quantity square times uh, the quantity big R plus small r. Okay. In our representation, we mark this as s. Okay. So actually, you could write it as total surface area and protected with respect to the y-axis 2 pi s times the quantity r plus r. Or to give you the exact value of space, 
it will be the square root of n square plus the quantity r minus r quantity square. Actually, this is the slant height. Right? This portion is actually h and this is uh, r minus r. <laughs> you see it, guys? So, uh, the final formula on how to take the lateral surface area of the prostome of a right circular cone is uh, 2 pi times the square root of s square plus r minus r quantity square. This up, take the square root times the product of r plus r. Uh, this is a unit length times a unit length. So the answer would be unit length quantity square. Area is a square, area, uh, square dimension. If it is inches, it should be square inches. If it is centimeter, it will be square centimeter. If it is meter, it should be square meter. Oh, good evening, Los Angeles. That's the formula on how to compute the total surface area of the right or prostom of the right circular cone as a function of the bigger radius r, small radius uh, r also, and altitude h. Uh, good evening, Los Angeles.